I genuinely feel played. Because I just got in the line. But I got behind somebody else because I didn't realize it was two lines. And this other person just pulled up. And they're basically in front of me now. Even though I got here before them. Anyways, I'm at CVS. I need to pick up a first question really quickly. So I just figured I would start the vlog here since I'm getting out the house. I have this hat on because, child, listen. Y'all already know if you watched my last vlog, hair's falling out. <laughs> I'm going to get braids tomorrow, though. And um, I just don't want to be in my hair. So I was just like, we're just going to put a hat on it. Because I don't want to be slicking it back or nothing like that. So, yeah, I'm at CVS right now. I'm going to pick this little prescription up. And then we are headed over to Target. I low-key got a drive-up order because I didn't know if I was actually going to get out the house. And then I was like, I actually want to get some things for the kids. I want to make them like their, like their own little carts. Um, because, you guys, if you guys don't know, they've been home. They used to be at daycare. And now they're home. It's my turn to pull up. Hold on. Hold on. Actually, I don't know what homegirl in front of me has going on. She like pulled up, but then is still in the line. So I don't know what's going on. Anyways, okay. So I want to go to Target. If you guys don't know, like I was saying, the boys basically have been home from school. So of course she pulling up now. Oh. <laughs> so basically the kids are home from school or daycare now. Um, for the time being, we kind of just haven't found anything that fits what we're kind of looking for um and me and Aaron most recently have been talking about just maybe like even homeschooling possibly I don't know that personally myself could be their teacher but like maybe having somebody to come the boys are still young now they're not school age so the things they need to learn are obviously not like hard curriculum or anything like that but um just to keep their brains you know active um and 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 you know ready especially carter for kindergarten next year um or even testing out of kindergarten to go to first grade which is a whole nother thing i'll talk about but he's a late baby or early baby basically he'll be older because his birthday is in november um but anyways like i said so i just want to go to target and i want to get them some activities that they can do in the morning besides um like watching tv or playing on their ipads i'm kind of like a I have nothing against iPad time, TV time, anything like that because I actively do that in my house, but I just think, you know, I've always been on the fence, especially about iPads, but I'm trying to get with this. It's just basically I want other things that they feel like they can play and do to keep their mind busy and active without having the TV. So I'm just going to go and what little activities I can find inside of Target and then I also possibly might be going to CB2, which I've never been inside CB2 um, at the Dallas location. So I'm really excited about that. I don't know if I'm going to fade yet or not. Right now, the boys are at home with their dad. Carter and him are playing football in the backyard because um, Carter started football last week, which I think I told you guys. And then Carson is still taking his nap. That boy can nap forever. I love it. Like, I love it. He takes long naps. <laughs> and then... Carmelo it just woke up from his nap when I left so yeah anyways my friend and her brother are gonna go to CB2 so I was like oh, I want to fade like just peep the vibe see what they got in there I really don't need to bu be buying anything because um, I'm really trying to start putting myself on a better budget because I am the queen of oh baby if I want it I'm gonna buy it now doesn't matter <laughs> and I think like I just need to dial it back in and um yeah just start being more mindful of the way that I spend my money and just like thinking about things more than just like buying it impulsively because I feel like a lot of the purchases that I make impulsively anyways I don't end up using in the long run or so yeah so when we're going into Target today we're taking cash okay even though I know I'm gonna go look in the home decor section and I really want to get some home decor and I don't want to make myself feel bad if I do get something I have a little bit more money in the budget because I've already you know like put up everything that I need to put up basically I'm just like I'm just really trying to get to like this goal of how much I want to save every month anyway so yeah we got a little bit of money left in the home decor budget for this month so there are a couple things that I know I want for the house um so I might take a sneaky peek over there but besides that I'm just gonna get the boys 
activities or see what I can find. I'm, bas I'm basically looking for like coloring things, puzzles, maybe some Play-Doh, even slime. Like it doesn't even necessarily have to be all of these like educational things, but just something other than like electronics to kind of keep their attention. Oh, and then I also need to go and get some gas. So I'm about to get on my Upside app really fast while I'm at this red light. Oh, I just turned green. I'm trying not to use my phone while I'm driving. So I think I know which one I need to go to. If you guys don't know what Upside is, basically it's an app that is going to give you cash back on your gas. And I am in my cash back era. I'm about to head to the gas station and once I get there, I think I know which one because I've been using the app that I can go to to get my cash back points today. But anyways, they just sponsor it today's video too. So thank you to Upside for sponsoring today's video and I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about it real quick. Upside is an app for anyone who buys gas, groceries, or dines out. With every purchase, you can earn cash back thanks to Upside. And it's super easy to use. All you do is connect your debit or credit card, claim your offer, and use your card like normal. And you earn three times more cash back than traditional rewards programs. And you can cash out at any time to your bank account, PayPal, or e-gift card. With the current state of the economy and inflation, I'm trying to be as mindful as I can with my money. So I personally use Upside for all the things that I'm going to purchase anyways, like gas or a quick bite to eat or even groceries. You can check out Upside by downloading the free Upside app and using code McKenna to get $5 or more cash back on your first purchase of $10 or more. Thank you again to Upside for sponsoring today's video. Fresh also just came while I was um, pulling in. This is the pull ups I was talking about. <clears throat> we'll go upstairs. I got Carmelo size three diapers. Okay, as far as their little activities go, I got them some clay. Um, clay is a little bit harder to mold than Play-Doh, so I figured if they, they have to be more tedious with it. And then they can save whatever they make. I didn't see any Play-Doh either, so I'll probably have to order some, but I got them each both, like, two, so they can have their own. I got them some sketchbooks. They look like this. I low-key did not want this color, but this was the only color they had. But they're always asking to color and draw, so this is easier than, like, sheets of paper, because then it's, like, all together so I got that I got them these clear um plastic containers to keep their markers and pencils in and I got this because it's been it's been it's been eyeing me it was five dollars in the five dollar section you know what I'm about but I wanted to like give some dimension to like the formula station over there I don't know let's just see what it looks like okay Okay. Just like put it on there, and then I'm thinking about replacing uh, this baby bruiser with like just a regular um, water dispenser because we never really use it on the warm setting, anyways. Like, he usually just drinks like room temperature. I'll put it on the warm setting sometimes, but, anyways. All right, I also got them some slime kits. So we can do that one day. And then once they've made it, they can just play with it. Oh, I got one. I got one thing from the sale, you know. I had to get this little candle. It just, the fall theme, this color, everything. So I'm just going to save it. And then once I get like all my stuff in, because I just ordered my dining room table and chairs today. So once I get my dining room table in and my chairs, then we'll start to like decorate. It should all be here like early this week. Um, or we'll buy time well, next week when it's on the vlog, like at the beginning of next week. So 
excited about that. I got them work little containers. Whew. I need to go to Equinox today. I mean, not today, but this week and get my gym membership. I also got them a dry erase board, so I thought this would be fun. If they don't want to like color regularly, they can, you know, just switch it up. So I also got some magic. I don't know. It's reusable, reuse or air dry. It's kind of like basically like a clay play-doh, if that makes sense. I got some mellow, some more pacifiers because we're always losing them. These are the only ones that he takes mostly. He'll sometimes take the Avant ones now that he's not breastfeeding, but they're the Tumi Tippy, Tommy Tippy, I don't know. Um, but I got them some dry erase board markers. I got the off brand because they're just gonna ruin them. <laughs> and then I got them these, I sat in the crayon aisle for a long time thinking about what kind of crayons I wanted to get because for a while I didn't let the boys have anything but those magic markers so that they couldn't color. Because at our last place we had an incident where they colored all over the wall and I was like, oh no. So I think they're only, they'll only be coloring really if like I'm watching them or they're outside. So they know to put their stuff back where it goes when they're done because we've been practicing that in the morning. So I decided to get them these twistable crayons because one, they can't break them, snap them in half. And then two, I don't have to worry about sharpening them over and over and over again. So I got two packs of those <clears throat> and then I got Carter an Avengers coloring book and I got Carson Paw Patrol um yeah that's what I figured both of them are both into those things and then what else did I get them oh and then I got them some markers some regular markers so they better act responsibly that's all i know um and then i also got uh mellow this little hand mitten that you can like it's by it's it's by itsy ritzy and you put it on their hand and they can chew on it he literally always has his hands in his mouth chewing on his hands so when i saw this i was like might as well try it out and you can like tighten it so it like stays around their wrist but i think he would appreciate that so yeah <coughs> And the last thing I got, Aaron called me while I was there and was like, can you get me some body wash? Because he's just been using mine. So I was like, sure. I got him the eucalyptus um, and cedar leaf by raw sugar because I'm using raw sugar right now. So, matchy, matchy. But that's it. Let's open up HelloFresh and see what, see what we got from HelloFresh. I actually picked my own meals. That's kind of why I stopped getting the subscription for a little while because I would just like let it pass and then I would get these meals and I'd be like, ah, I don't really want to eat this. But this week I actually picked all the meals I wanted. So I also got this gum. I do not like chewing peppermint gum for whatever reason. And like the gum that I like is completely like sold out everywhere. It's like this orange trident gum. So I got their simple gum. Okay. Oh. No. Immediately no. Immediately no. I just always want to try it and I tried it. That was nasty. I did not like the texture of that at all. It's made with like natural materials. No. No. Mm -mm. No. <laughs> okay. Let me. I'm trying to grab this Hello Fresh box without dropping everything. Let me just go around. All right. Let's see what we got. Oh. I also got them this ginormous calendar so we can start practicing days of the week and what day it is because they're always like, tomorrow, when we wake up, it's going to be Christmas, it's going to be Halloween. I'm like, no. So I'm going to try to understand the concept of time. I think I'm going to get like a little clock too. But all right, let's open this. Let's see what we're going to make. Tonight, when he dropped it off, I was like, this is it. I just got one box. He was like, yeah. I was like, oh, no way. No way. He was like, maybe there's another delivery coming on the later route. But let's see. Let's see if all my meals are in here. Okay, so the first meal that I got was these spicy harissa chicken bowls. I don't know. All I know is we, if y'all haven't peeped the vibe, we eat rice and chicken a lot. All different types of ways you can eat it, but we be eating it a lot. So I was like, might as well. And then I got this turkey ragu spaghetti. I'm gonna spice it up on the spaghetti night. I usually make spaghetti as one of my meals, but this one is with turkey meat and zucchini. So 
And then we got, ew, what is that, peas? Mm, I did not look at that. I definitely would not be putting that on my arugula. And then the last thing I got was a beef tenderloin with balsamic steak sauce and it's mashed potatoes and broccoli. And you can't go wrong with that. So, Loki, I might make that for dinner tonight. I don't even know what I want to make for dinner. I don't even know if I feel like cooking. That's also the other problem. I don't even know if I got the energy. But I think I have a code with HelloFresh. If it's still active, I'll put it here, but this video is not sponsored. I always wanted to look at the little coupon things they put in here because sometimes they be making sense. Ooh, pots and pans. I love the pots and pans. Cozy Earth, enjoy 60% off your next purchase. Watch, when I get on Instagram the next time, a Cozy Earth ad is gonna pop up. It'd be so crazy about what you'd be talking about. You pop it up on your ads on Instagram, but sometimes it'd be helpful. I'm not gonna lie, because I feel like, dang, I forgot I wanted it. Thanks for reminding me. Okay. Let me just put all the stuff away now, and I'm gonna, like, take all the markers and stuff out of the box and put together their little rolly cups. so far so they have their little i don't this is called like monkey foam and then all their little stuff i just showed you guys but i just put on the cards i want to get some puzzles and stuff too i just didn't see any that i liked while i was there so i'm probably gonna look on amazon for some little puzzles or building blocks or something but this is what we got for now to my hair appointment I've been up since 5 a.m Melo did not sleep good last night at all so i feel like i've just been up all night since he got up at five i was like might as well stay awake so i stayed up for a little bit on my phone took me a bath at like six got myself together um obviously not my hair because that's what we're on our way to do and then i cooked some breakfast for myself in the kids and now i'm about to 
this little bag real quick and just put um, like my iPad, my laptop, my computer. I'm gonna look and see if I can find my extension cord because I'm gonna work. If I'm gonna be sitting down getting braids all day, like I'm not gonna just be sitting there on my phone. I'm gonna edit. The last the vlog that you guys saw before this vlog is what I'm gonna edit and just respond to emails. Hopefully not do any online shopping. I'm also taking a little tissue because my allergies, oh, my allergies are acting up this morning too. That's probably why I didn't go back to sleep because I could not breathe. Got the laptop. I'm gonna take this memory card. Okay. I'm gonna pack my tissue in there. AirPods. I need AirPods. Here on the AirPods. I don't know what's up with me in the morning times now, but I just be feeling like so bleh when I wake up in the morning. I don't know what the deal is. I'm just gonna put you right there. <sighs> I'm so ready to get my hair done, you guys. Oh my god, I'm really so sad about this though. Okay, well, what time is it? 7.39, it's really too early, I'm gonna leave. I think that's everything. I think I'm ready to go. This back is heavy, this laptop's heavy. Let me double check. I was writing myself a list on my phone this morning. I have to write everything down in my notes because I literally forget everything. My laptop tray. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, hold on. I was planning on going to Starbucks before, um, but I'm glad I left early because I just put it in my maps. And I'm like almost an hour away from getting my hair done. So I thought it was like a cool 30 minutes, but I guess because it's the like morning traffic, it's like an hour. So I'm headed there now. Um, I guess I'm just going to stop by. I should have time still to get Starbucks on my way there. I really need a coffee if I'm going to make it through the day. No cap. I'm feeling they go hate you when you know. Can you keep a secret, baby? Tell me, let me know. I can take a hit, but from the ones that leave me cold. Had a hard but still, but it's too late. That bitch done so. Myself sometimes don't like what I be on. It's forever, fuck a bitch, even if I'm right or I'm wrong. Okay, first of all, hey Siri, play Meg's new album. Do the dog this cat out, whip it like a trap house, stand up in that pussy, stomp the yard like a frat house. Cause I'm Miss Ness, had it on my ass. My scared to put that pussy on him cause he might go fast. Yeah, yeah. Big ho, bitch, I got my own money, big ho. One thing about me, I never get mad. What you do? I just get easy. I got Might fuck on your best friend. Yes, yeah. Fuck on your sister, then record it. Goddamn band, this ain't NFT money. Fuck on bras and Dallas in one night, I feel like that. Mm. Mm. Time to start to you. Can I have a tall of the... Uh, Does that the, look like you can cover? Yes. Yeah, it's a mouthful. Yeah. <laughs> okay, anything else? Um, and then can I also do a tall iced matcha with a pump of raspberry? Yeah, anything else? That's it. Yeah, tall iced matcha with a pump of raspberry. That would be nice when you have to out. Thank you. Y'all know I ain't no Starbucks, huh? Lucky I am. Lucky I am. Lucky I think, Lucky I think y'all have made me a Starbucks girly. I think I need to download the app at this point. But anyways, I was listening to this girl, and then she was like that she had an iced matcha with a pump of raspberry, and it was so good. And so I'm just gonna try it. But I really just got the I wanted I really just got the cold brew for coffee. But the Noah sweet cream cold brew up 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 up. Okay, anyways. Chop this up for I'm a superstar, you cannot take that from me. If you hear my phone ring, that's them demons calling. Ch Choppers and Ferrari. Girl, I'm a dreamer. Good morning. Oh, I'm like 
sorry. Can I do Apple Pay? Thank you. You too. I just got up to the window and was like, oh, hey, trying to get my drink. Girl, you need to pay. <laughs> I'm like, oh, my whole purse is on the, on the flow. I don't, I don't got my money ready. Okay, anyways. Woo, let's taste test. Matcha with raspberry. I can't really taste the raspberry. But for being just like a regular matcha with nothing added. Pretty good. I didn't add anything to this either, so. I'm gonna throw up. That is disgusting. Oh my gosh. I got that because that's what I've been drinking at home. Like I got like the pre-made, you know, in the bottle. It's so good. That right there. Oh my God. That'll wake you up. That's disgusting. <laughs> Good morning. Mom, where do you bring these kind of stuff? From the stove. Stove for us? Just take your time and be patient, okay? It's okay. I'm not coming for you. Good morning. As you guys can see, I have a break. I'm making you a daddy person. Um, I literally was there all day yesterday. Like, I didn't get home until... 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock at night. So um, that's why y'all haven't seen me. I was like, it's no point to be picking up the camera at 10 o'clock at night to just be like, oh, hey, I got braids. This so is it's, a Yeah, so it's the next day. The boys have their little carts that we set up. Um, so yeah, anyways, I'm gonna show y'all the back. It's real long. I'm gonna give you some, all right. I'm still trying to get used to it. Whenever I get a new hairstyle, it's like an adjustment period um, of if I'm trying to decide if I, if I like it or not. But regardless, these not coming out of my hair for another like eight. Uh, she said people keep them in for like six to eight weeks. Like I can go get a, like a touch up and she'll basically take out like the whole top half and then the last two bottom rows if I feel like I need it and I want to keep them in longer. Um, I did get them like really small. I got minis, which we'll see how it goes. I might do like medium next time I get braids because my plan is really to do like, depending on like what my edges are looking like or growing. And I'll show you guys if you really want to be nosy, but it looks like there's a whole braid missing basically because my edges fell out right there in that place. So that's why I'm wearing them like over to the side or I can wear them in the middle part. Um... But yeah, so I either have to wear it like all to one side this way, all to one side this way, or in middle part. So, yeah. Yeah, I got waist length. So they real long. I need to give myself some baby hairs. I just woke up, so I have my bonnet line on my hair. So, anyways, enough about the hair. It's early in the morning, but late. We woke up a little bit late. Um, so I'm about to make no, it's not in the morning. It is the morning, but it's not the. We usually get up like an hour early. No, and it's, I need to Yeah, you can get your. There's some colors in that box down there. I'm trying to make something different for breakfast besides. Which kind? Oh, I, still, I need to go to Target and get my drive up. I still haven't got my drive up because I thought that I was gonna be able to get it yesterday on the way home, but it was too late. And that has my coffee in there. Okay, and I need some coffee, baby. So. What y'all want to eat? I'm trying to think what I can make. Um, you can make that in eggs. You want toasted eggs? I need the same eggs. thing for breakfast. I need some breakfast ideas. But like, picky kids, for sure. Um, Miss Nasty, tell me. Like, I don't even know what the day holds today. I got some work done yesterday since I was sitting there. I had took my laptop and I edited. Only thing I didn't do is I needed to like re-watch the video just to like make sure everything is good and add some music yeah, to it. We were like talking and stuff and so yeah, I just, I didn't finish it even though I should have because that was like my whole day yesterday. So I have a couple things, but I did get other things done that I needed to do like via email and like some revi revisements for this content for a brand. Ooh, I know what I'm gonna make them. 
I have um, turkey sausage crumbles. Mom, where's my other one I colored? Y'all want a breakfast burrito? <laughs> Mom, where's my other one I colored? I don't know, baby. Where's my other? I'm trying to put y'all in the so y'all can see me for me. All right, we're gonna make breakfast for meat and potatoes. I need to wash out this pan really fast. We can do that in a second. Some other stuff from Amazon yesterday that I wanted to open up, huh? Okay. Hey, huh? Hey, okay. When did you go? Hey, um, it's their Bible book for nighttime, so we can read 101 bedtime Bible stories. Okay, baby, put it in the trash. Okay, put it in the trash. Yeah, I wanted a new Bible book. They had one, and it got all messed up. So I got another one. I'm super excited about this. You can read this tonight. Okay, I got some other stuff. Wrong cabinet. That's awkward. I still need to get the all the. I took the cushions, whatever y'all know, cases off the cushions on the couch, and I haven't put them back on yet. So from Amazon, we got, I really got, I read up on all my hygiene products. I was, I want to film an updated hygiene video. I got the tips for the girls, okay? I had to get some new tongue scrapers, so I picked those up in a pack of two. Um, what else did I get? I got some booty wipes. That's everything that I got right now. The rest of the stuff I already have, and whatever else I didn't is coming from Amazon, so... I got a quick little minute. Well, I'm about to do it anyway, so I figured I'd just sit down and talk to you guys about it. Um, if you guys are interested, some people do ask me stuff like this, but this is really just my advice that I feel like I can share. Um, I'm about to pay, pay my credit card statement, so I want to tell you guys how I do it. I don't have my cards in here, but maybe I have a card I can use as an example. Well, I'll just tell you guys, okay. So, if you know, most people know about the, like, um, that you should pay on your credit card, obviously, before your statement date. If you don't know that, then that's what you should do, because that's the balance that gets reported to your credit every month, and you want to keep your utilization. I like to keep mine at zero. If I can, one to three, but normally, like, three to five percent. Ten is even a little bit too high. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how I do it while actively using my credit cards because I feel like the problem for me was I didn't know how to do that and use my credit cards for every transaction like a debit card, which you should be doing because you get benefits from using your credit card. Um, and it took me a long time to wrap my head around this, so I'm going to try to simplify it as much as possible for you guys. Um, there's lots of TikToks that you can look up to if you want to know more about it, but the way I do it is for every single credit card I have, I go onto my bill, I look at my statement date. You're gonna to wanna to write that down, so write down what credit card it is, write down your statement date, and then obviously you can write down your due date if you want, that's the actual day that the money is due on. So anyways, I keep every day that they're due, and what I do is I write, I have a, like, I have probably like five credit cards, and I've always been really good at managing my credit cards, so yeah, 
as long as you just don't use them and not pay them back don't use them unless you actually have the money to pay them back that would be my advice but anyways so basically what i do is i write on the back of my credit card um the amount or the limit that's on that credit card because a lot of my credit cards look the same and then what i do is i also write the statement date on there so if i'm out shopping i can look at what day the statement date is because i don't want to be using my card probably like two days before the statement date um, because that's usually when your balances post on your card is about one to two days after you make the purchase and i don't want that to reflect on there before i get time to pay it i hope this is making sense <laughs> um i know it's kind of like it's a lot of mental math if you overthink it so just keep it really simple know your statement date don't use your card when your statement date is coming up how you can remember that is i take blue um tape like this and i um i put it i'm pushing my low because he's sleepy but i just take a little bit of tape i put it on the back of the card and then i write down the limit and then i write down um the day that it's due on and then every single day for the most part whether it's at night or in the morning i go on to my credit cards and i pay them off like if i know that i just used my credit cards which is what i'm about to do right now which made me think to tell you guys but i'll just go on to my apps and i pay them down so like i'm only using money that i already have to spend so but i do like using my credit cards because you get a lot of rewards points that you can use for flights or you can use it to pay towards your bill um hotels whatever i personally don't have any like super big girl credit cards i'm still building building my credit um when i started out i had like a capital one um quick quick it's like quicksilver i've been having that for a really long time and then i have about like three or four of those me and aaron also are on all of each other's accounts so that we both have like the same credit um like we both have the same amount of credit lines so yeah we both have each other as an authorized user on our cards but basically yeah that's how i do it every day that i know um like i use my card or really just every day i check it because sometimes i have things on auto pay on there that i won't remember you can also set up auto pay to go two days before your statement date um if you are somebody who doesn't remember to do it every day i personally like to just stay on top of it and look at it every day because it doesn't take me but two seconds to go on the app and pay the bill you know every single day um and this might not be right but this is what i do so this is i'm not a financial advisor obviously i can't tell you guys but this is what i do and it helps increase my credit and keep my utilization low so that's just me some people break their payments up into like two like different payments a month but i just know that it'll slip my mind like that so i just like to do it every single day pay it off with this stuff so yeah it'll help improve your credit and you get them points to use and you get cash back at a lot of places i know with my quicksilver card i get cash back everywhere i also have an amazon store card chase card um yeah i want to upgrade and get some big girl cards soon but i have to build my credit first in order to be able to do that so that's what i'm in the process of doing i really want the chase sapphire because i heard the rewards on there are really good so yeah good morning i need to get myself some water i have not been drinking enough water i know the fridge all the fridge is is yell do it sound quiet in here because it's morning time and it's quiet the boy's grandma is over here and his mom is over here helping me this morning because lord knows i need it her and the kids are on a walk they went on a walk and now i'm about to try and I know to fill my cup up, but all my cups are dirty. I need to do, 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 do the dishes so bad, y'all. I need to clean the whole house. Every day I gotta do something. Clean, clean the whole house. <laughs> Anyways, I'm getting ready to try to put these curtains up or these shades up in Carmelo's room so that when he goes to sleep, we can make it dark because the boys go to sleep before the sun is up. And, oh, matter of fact, you know what? Dang, I didn't order the curtain. Fuck. Fuck. Okay. So, basically we have this thing. We have these pull-up shades that we have been putting up. Because when we moved in here, this is like a new construction house. So, 
the blinds that they ordered haven't come in yet for them to install so we're putting like temporary like pull down shades up and so the ones in my room i used command hook strips to put up and me and Aaron were trying to do it yesterday but we couldn't get it to stick but it's like i don't got no choice i look you first of all i'm pretty sure i was supposed to have an amazon package get delivered uh this morning at 8 a.m so i'm gonna be real mad if my packages are not here because i did not see them yeah they're delayed amazon really got me I'm trying to think if I should just, I don't want to put a curtain rod up. Like, I do not want to drill holes into the wall, like, because when you move out, like, all that stuff is just so, such a pain in the ass to fix, and then they want to take all this money from you, and I just, y'all a little crooked, but anyways, I'm trying to put it up right here. I need to get a step stool. It looks like this, so basically it's just like, move down, black out curtains okay let's see if i can do it so basically what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna cut the strips and they're just basically like velcro strips they're supposed to hold up to 16 pounds this is probably like maybe a cool maybe a cool little 12 or something so i don't know why it wouldn't stay up yesterday when we were doing it because it's really not that heavy but I'm just about to put them, the, the reason why I think it didn't stay is that there's like, so on the bottom here, one of them stayed, but the other one wouldn't stay. They have like, like you just can't put it all on the surface, if that makes sense. One thing about me, okay, is I'm gonna nigger rig it. That's one of my real bad habits. I do not be doing stuff the proper way. And I be wondering why it don't work. Like, I could simply just go get a nail and some hooks and put some curtains up, like, put a curtain rod up. But I don't want to. So, I'm not. Also, I don't know what type of curtains I want to put up if I'm going to put up curtains. It's giving. I just want to do it. I just want to do it renter friendly, like. And ain't nothing wrong with it. But yeah, command hook strips, you can just take them right off the wall. When you're done and you don't gotta worry about it. So oh, I should have did that. Anyways, I need to get on live or something. I've been wanting to like have a conversation with y'all like and y'all talk to me in real time. <laughs> I be needing y'all's opinion. I be needing help. I'm gonna start getting on live. I used to get on live. I'm not even gonna start. Live. Don't even let me get stuck on. I was gonna say I used to get on live all the time, but that's just a little face line. <clears throat> mm -mm, mm -mm. Anyways, the plan for today is I guess get the house in order. It's Wednesday, and I'm trying to finish this up while the kids are chilling because I need to get some footage. One thing about me, baby, is the way I do my sponsored content is like I always submit it to the brand before the whole video is done because they're only sponsoring a certain portion of it so you only need to see that certain portion. Do you get what I'm saying? But that just makes my life easier so I can go ahead and like get it done and then I can if they have feedback I can change whatever they want to change. That's why I always do my sponsorships also as voiceovers which I'm sure if you've been watching my channel and you see it then you notice but um because brands will come back and they'll they'll be like oh we want you to change xyz but like if i was talking to y'all about it in a vlog how would i redo the 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 thing in the vlog you know what i mean usually i get my sponsorships approved like with, in, in the first take because i've been doing it like for a while i feel like i'm pretty i'm pretty good at it i know what i need to do hold on let me see Period. Bob the Builder, bitch. Okay. Ooh, it's gonna make it dark in here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. This morning, I can't remember. I don't think I put any sunscreen on. And I sure need to lay my edges because I look a mess. Whew. 
the edges I have left, I should say. For my edges, I just use this Edge Booster uh, Phone Mousse. I like to use mousse for my edges. It's a little bit easier for me to like mold them. I'm really not even gonna do nothing fancy. I'm just gonna do boop. a messy look. I can't wait till some of my edges like over here come out the braids a little bit. So I can get some, you know, some real baby hairs. <sighs> this is the wild spot for me. I was going to try to cover it up because I've been low-key like self-conscious about it, but I already showed y'all that I got a bald spot, so it's not like it's not there, so I don't really care. Okay, I'm going through postpartum. I keep forgetting I had a baby four months ago, like, I don't know. Okay, anyways, they don't got to be perfect. We just try to lay something. I don't know how I'm going to wear my braids because, like, I'm not feeling the middle part, I don't think. So then it's like, I can't just wear it like that because the whole braid is missing. <laughs> oh. Wear it all to one side. Phew. I wanted to fill up my little pill containers. I have not been taking my vitamins lately and I need to get back on it. So if y'all know, I'm still like super congested if I'm talking funny, but <clears throat> they, um, I have like my care of packs and I usually take those in the morning with breakfast, but I also have my own stuff that I like to take at night time. So I'm about to fill all these up. The first one that I'm going to put in here is evening primrose oil. I'm just going to lay them all out across the, I, across the counter. I got these from Amazon. open them up they have separate sides like morning and night i'm gonna open up the night side and see what i can fit in there i feel like i'm missing a couple of other things but my care my care of packs have mostly everything in there these are just like extra things that i like to take so like i said we got evening primrose oil put one of these evening primrose oil if y'all haven't ever heard me talk about it before it basically just helps with hormone regulation um, I'm not a doctor, obviously, but that's it, it really does help me. Like when I start taking these consistently, I notice a big difference in my PMSing before my periods. Like I won't be as moody. It helps with hormonal breakouts. Um, so it's something that I've been taking for like, like three or four years. And then I'm also going to put some Chlorofresh in here or Chlorophyll is the green drops that you guys see everybody putting in their um, drinks and stuff. It's an internal deodorizer. I've also been taking this for like four or five years. It works really well, like to the point where if you take it consistently, you will not need to even need to like wear deodorant and stuff. Like I haven't been taking it consistently since I had Mellow, um, which I don't know why, cause I was definitely having postpartum body odor, but I just, my, my mind like has been so many places. I haven't been, I haven't been remembering to take my vitamins. Or these ones because they were all packed up in boxes and stuff too but anyways I used to like not have to wear a deodorant like ever because it works that well like you definitely have to take it for a while for it to get like all the way through your like in your system and to start working but once it does like you're not gonna have other I promise you that if I kind of can't do nothing for the girls I would teach y'all how to get your hygiene together okay <laughs> And then I'm, I'm only doing one Chlorofresh because I also take probiotics, which are seed from seed. And then I also have some of my morning thing. And probiotics also help with like the digestive tract and all that. And just know it's going to make you go to the bathroom and your TMI is going to be green. So I'm just giving you a heads up if you, just in case you don't know. But yeah, I have probiotics help with gut health clearing out things that are in your body that don't need to be in there so i would recommend taking any the best thing that you could do for yourself if you don't get anything out of this is take a probiotic my grandma used to stress that to me all the time and i never listened now that i'm older i'm like she was so right like she knew what she was talking about take your probiotics especially if you're bloated if you have like digestive issues like i don't want to say that probiotics have this like magical claim to like cure everything but I notice a difference in my skin when I'm taking them consistently because it just gets all of the bad stuff out your body. So, yeah. I also, 
I'm lucky thinking about taking Slippery Elm. I had got it a while ago, but I can't, you can't take it, take it while you're pregnant. So I didn't, but basically it's supposed to like line your, um, like the inside of your body with just like more moisture. Okay. Um, I also have, a, I have a ton of vitamins, honestly, down here. I have some urinary tract vitamins. I have like literally a ton of stuff. And I'll just kind of use them as I go. But like, this is a cranberry probiotic. This is the Mighty Night Overnight Cell Renewal. I'm gonna put this in here because this is not like anything else. I'm gonna take it this apparently. Okay, well we gonna see it. see what this is hitting for. This has ferulic acid, ceramides. Ferulic acid is really good for your face. That's what's in my skincare, like my vitamin C that I put on my face every morning. So I'll be interested to see what happens with this. I'm also about to start taking a hair supplement. I've been doing like different research about what I want to take to help grow my hair because hair growth really does come. Like you can do a lot of stuff to maintain the growth and keep your hair healthy on the outside, but growing your hair definitely comes from the inside. These are Moody Bird. These are basically like from home. They have other things in them, including evening primrose oil, which like I said, helps with PMS and stuff like that. So I don't need these. I'll use these whenever I run out of my evening primrose oil. Um, yes. Yeah. And yeah, my care, my care of packs, they have like, um, they have all my other stuff that I take in there. So like ashwagandha, turmeric, like literally I have like a whole bunch of things I can't even think of, but like all the good things that are good for like, just like feminine health and stuff I get in my care of packs. But yeah. Anyways, so the boys are with her. I was just working a little bit and I'm not done by any means. I could still go downstairs and do some more editing. But today we're just going to be getting the house together. I have one thing that I have to do this afternoon. I have to run by the old place that we used to live at. Because y'all know when you move out somewhere, all they be trying to do is just, you know, they be trying to make you pay for every little thing. So I'm not even going to argue with them. So we're probably going to do that later this afternoon. I think I want to put my hair in a cloth look. Let me take this switch my notes. <sighs> okay, so back to what I was saying. We have to get the house together. My bathroom currently a mess. Um, I want to take a trip to the container store so that I can get like bins to like organize all of this because I have these, which it helps a little bit, but I need some stuff for here, so yeah and then i haven't showed you guys the baby's room i kept saying i was going to show y'all his room and then i never did let's we'll see Oop. i don't know why this is in here okay so this is baby mellow's room it's not done yet but this is his crib that's the recliner it's a power recliner so i really like it you can like press the little thing and it goes back and forward and you can charge your phone on there um he has his little balance beam back there because I actually have like a whole bunch of like um, wooden like play, like a whole play gym thing to put up in here. So obviously the room is not done yet. This dresser's over here. This dresser's from Ikea, but the movers, they broke it whenever we moved in. So if you can see like right there, that piece is missing. So I think I'm going to get him a new dresser eventually. And then I'm going to rearrange the space. Um, we're just, you know, taking it slow. I haven't really been in a rush to like get everything perfect so we got a lot of other projects we got downstairs dining room table stuff like that so yeah it's just put together for now so he can sleep in it oh before i forget i i said i showed you guys but i was editing and i never did this is the kids rug their room is a mess but like it's a spider-man rug it's so cute like it has like spider-man all over it i think i'm gonna get them like a halloween rug though because it's from ruggable so you can switch them out and i think i'm gonna get them a halloween one for halloween because i'm gonna decorate in here it's gonna be so cute i'm gonna like put witches hats all over the ceiling and then do like bats on the wall and stuff and change out their bedding to have like halloween bedding and stuff like that so yeah okay let me see i need to go check 
Check, 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 check. I'm going to say check the mail. I look, you should just check it out at the same time. Hold on. I'll be right back. I got a package from my outfit online. This is one thing that I can say. This is one thing that I can say that I was influenced to buy. The girlies. The girlies got me onto my outfit online. Um, and it's good. It's very much good. Oh, not that my paper was already ripped. But um, their leggings are giving very much BBL. Like they snatch you in the right places. I love them. The material and quality is really, really good. It's nice and thick. Um, so I ordered their t-shirt, which I'm going to low key put on right now because I need to run by the bank. <sighs> I was telling y'all I have to go to, to um, the old apartments and pay them. Um, and um, they... What's that saying? Aaron had got the... Aaron had went and got the, the thing to pay them, like the cashier's check. But he did it wrong. He wasn't listening to me. No, he just forgot to put 60 cents on there. And if I go turn it in without the 60 cents, they will put that 60 cents on my on collections and put it on my credit because they're petty, y'all. Anyways, okay, I also ordered the leggings. Um, these not these do not look like the same leggings that I, I've had in the past though. Anyways, I got a size medium because Again, I don't know, like the band on these looks way smaller than the band that I have on my other ones, but I feel like I ordered the same exact leggings. I don't know, I'll have to look at it later. But anyways, the, the ones that I have, I don't know about these, but the ones that I have snatch me up real, real good. These do not look like they're the same at all, but it's okay. I got a medium because the ones I have are like tight, like they suck you in. So they have like a, a little bit of stretch, but not enough for me to wear a small. And I do usually wear a small on a lot of stuff. So I got a medium, but these low-key look like they're going to be too big. So that sucks. That sucks ass. Because these are definitely like way more stretchy than the other ones I have. So maybe it's like a, a legging from a different collection is why I ordered. Maybe on accident. I don't know. But I was like, I've never tried out any of their bodysuits or t-shirts. And they had these little basic black tees um, that they just dropped. So I was like, it's about to be fall so why the not the material is so soft though let me see let me see if i can fit my arms in here i got a small and i was like girl you got fat arms anyways i just thought this would be cute to wear with some leggings y'all know i'm a basics girl okay and one thing about me i'm gonna wear black or neutral it is gonna be basics this is cute i can't tell it's definitely a cropped have a tea like for sure i don't think this would go it doesn't go down that far let me look at it in the mirror i have it parted on the right side i don't even care listen i'm just gonna rock my little bald spot because it's not it's not giving that i'm gonna be concerned about covering it up every five seconds so i would wear this but it's hot outside it's so humid it's been like cloudy but it hasn't been raining because the forecast, they said it was going to rain here for like the last like two weeks or whatever. Um, thank y'all for checking on me. I never like, um, a couple people like were messaging me and like commenting on my videos that they saw like flooding in Dallas. And like there was some really bad videos and like some, some areas that did get really bad flooding. I was not in one of those areas. Um, I feel like when people, when you see stuff on the news and they say Dallas, like it doesn't always mean like. Dallas has a lot of like cities. Like other cities that, re that are really close that people just consider Dallas but it was close to me but I, it wasn't where I live go get this little money order but like I was saying we're gonna be over towards we're gonna be close to my mom so I might go over and see her and have lunch when I head that way I have some Skims t-shirts but I don't know where my black one is do we want to put on some perfume i'm like such a basic hoe when it comes to perfumes but if i'm going outside in the summertime honestly in texas the only thing i wear is this beach walk by replica because it just gives outside smell like it smells like a nice fancy like sunscreen like it smells good i don't know how to explain it but like if you put anything else on and then you walk outside in texas baby it's just not even giving like it's not even worth it <laughs> Oh, 
gonna grab because everything else is steak i really don't have the energy i'm gonna pour myself up for some coffee i turned on some music because i'm like my energy listen my energy level is depleting i need a vacation i need to recharge immediately i'm trying to get out of here y'all want the guy on tiktok i always i always see his videos on my feet he'd be like and then course this drink drive the boat I need to go outside. I need to go outside. Somebody, the kids need to take grandma come pick them up. I need to go outside. I'm not friends with none of my friends. I need to be outside no more. So I don't ever be outside no more. I tried to go out the other night. Fail. I walked to the club and I went out with just like me, my friend, and another friend. And no. I'm not going out unless it's with my nigga, okay? Unless I'm in somebody's section, I'm not going out. Okay. All right, I'm gonna whip this up really fast. I was gonna talk to y'all. I might get on live. If I get on live, I definitely have to put a bra on though. Why does it matter? I don't know. Listen, we're gonna get my titties done. Y'all gonna be sick of me. Oh, baby, YouTube is gonna be trying to demonetize the shit out of me when I get my titties done. Cause no bra. Okay. Gang, 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 gang. Is this the quinoa? This is in a small pot combined. Da, 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 da. Right. Okay. I'm just gonna get out all these brands. Y'all want an aesthetic montage? I don't know if I feel like talking. I really just want to listen to music. I wish YouTube didn't copyright you when you listen to music. If my, listen, if there was no such thing as copyright, my music and my videos would be so live. Like, I don't even understand why that's a thing. Because it's not like people are like coming, are going to like search up a music artist music video and my video is going to pop up and they're going to watch my video to listen to the music instead of listening to the artist. Does that make sense? Like, can we have, Anyways, all right. I need to change my camera battery out anyway, so. Cute montage. decide is if I'm going to put it together myself or I'm going to call my handyman to come put it together <laughs> like y'all I've gotten so used to just like calling him to put everything together I'm just like no it don't even sound good but I'm gonna open it all up see what it looks like because it's just a table and chairs and I don't think it would be that hard for me to put it together plus Aaron is here right now but he's sleep because he just came home and the boys are down for their nap so i'm not gonna wake him up because he's been working uh, but it's here and i'm nervous but excited to see how it looks because when you order stuff offline especially like furniture oh baby you don't know what you're gonna get well i ordered it from like 
places that I know like the quality and stuff is going to be good. Shipping was obviously super fast. I literally just placed those orders on, I want to say Monday and it's Thursday and they're here. I'm about to bring everything in from the garage. Um, and we're going to open it up and see, see what it looks like. I'm really excited. Mind you, the table is not that big because like, okay, y'all see basically like all the space that's behind the couch. Well, y'all can't really see, but there's a lot of space behind the couch. And Aaron was like, do not get a dining room table. Do not get a dining room table. Because he's like, the boys run around too much, leave them the open space. And I'm like, no, it looks unfurnished in here. Plus, I don't always like them sitting up at the countertop. I like for them to be able to sit down at the table. I personally like eating family meals at the table and we haven't eaten as a family um, since we moved because we haven't had a table. So yeah, I got one anyways, but I got like a relatively medium sized one. And then I only got four chairs, so it's not gonna hold hopefully take up a ton of space but just to fill in this gap right here and you know I want to have like a Friendsgiving maybe or something so I'm like I need a table right and like the couch can really like move even forward more if we need more space over here because look at all this space like it's a lot it's a lot of space so anyways <clears throat> I'm about to bring all that stuff in see what it's looking like See like the wood detailing? Oh, so cute. Okay. Let's open up the chairs. Cause the chairs is really what has to match the vibe. The chairs come pre-assembled. see if this color right here on the seat matches the chair. Whew, I'm scary. Um, oh no. I don't know what I want to do. I think I'm going to unbox the chairs because it's not the chairs that don't match. It's really this. It needs a stain on it which I could probably do because this more so matches the cool tones. This is the table is more warm. But okay, let me show y'all what I was trying to match it to. This camera been crooked the whole time. Okay, you see this? This is kind of like the tone that's in the rest of the house. And a lot of the stuff in here is gray, but I, ooh, hold on. I personally wasn't gonna purchase anything gray because I don't plan on having anything gray in my forever home. And I'm trying to be more mindful of the things that I'm buying because obviously I don't want to just keep repurchasing and repurchasing and repurchasing furniture um, as I move. But yeah, even the floors have gray tones in them. There's a gray black backsplash and stuff. I'm just personally not a fan of gray. I don't like the way that um, it's all different shades. Like the backsplash is like blue or gray. The island is like cool gray. It's just not my personal preference. I just don't like it. But I did want this to be to match. So I'm probably gonna text my aunt and ask her if she knows what shade. She's really good at like staining stuff and DIYing and whatnot. So I'm gonna probably just send a couple pictures to her and see if she can recommend me a stain color. So let me see. 
So I think the chairs are fine because the chairs have the cool tones that match, like I said, so it's just it's just everything else. Or it's just the table. But okay, I'm just gonna guess take everything back out of the boxes and once I get everything out of the boxes. I'll see if I'm going to be able to put the table together. I'm so glad that the chairs already came put together. I don't even have to put them together. I just need to unwrap them. It's comfy. I wanted something that had arms on it. This That was important to me this time. Kind of just like tucked you into your seat. I like that. Okay. This is what it looks like. Okay, so I think I like it. I obviously don't think the colors match. Um, I don't, it doesn't really look that bad on camera that I can tell, but in person, the table is just like, it's too oak and it needs to like match the color of the house a little bit more. So I need to darken it up. And then I was thinking, so yeah, cause even like the cooler tones in the floor are like, I don't know how to explain it. This is just, the table is more yellow. So The basic bitch in me wants to tell Aaron to sand it and paint it black. Because one thing about me is I'm gonna paint something black if I don't like it. <laughs> I didn't want, or maybe white, but I'm like, I don't wanna do white. Everything in here is already white. And while I think white looks really good, I don't want the whole house to be like, the dining room table to be white, like, if that makes sense, so. Okay, y'all know my bar stools are clear and gold because there's like a ton of gold accents around here, but there's also black accents in the house. So I wanted to like tie the black color into, but they make this same chair. You don't see me? They make the bar stools in a dining chair. So I was thinking maybe I could do oh, it's all fuzzy. I was thinking maybe I could get chairs that look like this. But then my friend was like, that's too matchy matchy. I was like, girl, who do you think I am? Martha Stewart? Is Martha Stewart or chef? I don't know. I'm not a home designer. Okay. Matchy matchy is, is how I get my aesthetic. Because I don't know how to coordinate colors. That's why my house is basic. Everybody's like, oh my gosh, you're black and white and black. I'm like, yeah. Cause that's all I know how to do. I think all the pieces on there um, look good. It doesn't look bad on the table. Like, I'm not well, see that's looking, but like, does that, you'll see? Like, I don't know, it's just like, it's not looking the same. My friend said she likes it. I don't know, maybe I'll dress it up with like some table runners or something and it'll like, tie itself together but you guys know what this means we get to open up all our cv2 stuff which i don't even know why i waited to open because i was like oh i'm gonna put it on the dining room table but i'm low-key i'm not because like i'll probably put like some stuff on the table but like um with the kids running around and stuff i'm probably gonna put like all the decor that i got from crate and barrel not crate yeah crate and barrel like over on top of those things because um, i feel like they're just less likely to get broken that way What do we think? <laughs> it's obviously that basket is way too big for that table. Like it's not even remotely proportionate. So I'm probably just gonna like, like I said, I'll probably just put my fall decor like over there and keep the table pretty, pretty empty. The table is really, it's, it's low key really small. I really feel like it doesn't even fill up the space, but cause like, just look at it in proportion. I don't know, it's in that whole wall. Like look how much wall space is still over here. And then we have this itsy bitsy table. I forgot that I got placemats because my friend was telling me like, um, don't stain it until you decorate it. Because she was like, it doesn't have to be so matchy matchy. Just see what it looks like once you, once you like decorate it. And I forgot that I got placemats. And I think the tones in the placemats are darker to match the floor. Oh, it looks so cute on Instagram. Oh, yes. <laughs> ah. 
Aaron's gonna come downstairs and be like, you did all that while I was taking a nap. <laughs> Period, poo. And it's only two o'clock. We got the rest of the day. I need to clean this fucking kitchen. Oh my gosh. That dinner we cooked last night, I think I told y'all, like, I was a little tipsy. I get tipsy off of, like, literally nothing, y'all. I swear I had, like, one shot. And I just had a shot because I was like, I'd be forgetting that I'm, like, an adult. I can drink after five o'clock if I want to. I'm responsible. You know what I mean? But no, drinking is really not for me. Like, I cannot just, like, be functioning when I be drinking. Like, no. No. <laughs> it's just, it's not for me. It's not for me. Personally. like if i'm going out or like just like relaxed having a good time but i really don't like to drink when i'm with the kids because i just i can't handle my liquor well like not that i'm like disoriented or anything but i'm just too like if that makes sense so that looks cute okay i'm gonna go get all my cb2 i keep saying cb2 it's not cb2 i want to go to cb2 so bad I basically just copied the entire little setup they had at Crate and Barrel. Like, I, like, took this off the table. I was like, I want that. She was like, well, take it then. And I was like, oh, yeah? Bring it to me. But yeah, I got these little spoons. These are the colored napkins I got. I really want to get these things, though. I forgot to get them while I was there, so I think I'm going to order them online. If they have them in stock, I'll go pick them up. But basically, like, they're, like, napkin rings doing all this shit and i got toddlers that's the problem that's the problem right there i don't have any friends <laughs> they come over and eat dinner um in my i have issues okay all right i'm gonna change out the battery and go get my boxes from crate and barrel and then we'll sit down and open them together <laughs> you want to help me open this stuff up have a seat. He's always the last one to go to sleep and the first one to wake up. Never fails. Okay. Okay. Let's for me. I don't know if you're going to be excited about anything in here. Oh, yeah. I don't think you can open it. Okay. okay. This is my. Oh. This is my muddler. This is not even a part of like. I'll open it so y'all can see it, but I wanted something that I can make guacamole and salsa and stuff in and like matcha if I want to. Because <clears throat> me and my friend were making guacamole the other day and I went to Crate and Barrel and I saw this and I was like, oh, I'm not going to get it. And then the, I was like, as soon as we made guacamole, I was like, I should have got it. I hope you're growing. Yeah, that was me. What? That was me. It looks like this. It's really cute. It's gray. Oops. Oops. Yeah. We can make guacamole. Oh, sorry if it's dark in here. It's about to rain. So I wonder if they're still. I wonder if we're still gonna have football practice today. Why gotta hurry? We have to already show it. Practice. It's already practiced. What is it? I don't even remember what I got. Oh, I got these cute pillar candles. I think they're unscented, but they're just There's like, I'm going to use them for, I don't what know. What does this mean? I think it's a pumpkin. These are like, um. It is a pumpkin. I'm not going to actually light these. I don't think, I think I'm just going to use them for decor, but I got them in a couple different Mom, sizes. Do you think that is pumpkin? This is, oh, this is my spooky bowl for Halloween. I got this black bowl, and what I'm gonna do is set my diffuser in it so then it looks like smoke is coming out of it. It's gonna be so cute. I think I'm gonna put it in the kitchen. I'm really excited. No, we're putting candy in there. It's we gonna be it. trick or treating. Oh my. And trick or treat? In like a month and a half, in like two months. Maybe. It's gonna be too much really candy in there. Okay, well, we're gonna get, we're gonna decorate outside and get a big pot for outside. And like, okay. Look at our little pumpkin. <laughs> I got like I got it in a couple different sizes. Mom, if we get a new pumpkin, we how are we can color it? So we yeah. be so happy. Yeah, we can. This is another one of the candles. It's just like this ivory color. Let's see what this is. You gotta be is. careful Chris, because it's glass. Here, you can grab those out of there. What is this? These a are my carpet? 
for mats for the table. No, they're for the table. They're not for the floor. They're for the table. Look, you see our table? Yeah. Look. Oh. <laughs> you can go put them on the table. I got these really cute bowls. I'll have to like show you guys up close in better lighting in like another time, but like I got bowls. Basically, I just got like a set to put out at the table if I want to do like a Friendsgiving or something. Okay. Why don't you get something to drink? Get some apple juice. These are the placemats. This is what color they are. Grab an apple juice. Can you reach it? Oh crap. I'm going to put these glasses on the table. First of all, can we talk about the crate and barrels just like boxes? Or so aesthetic. He's white. Is my father over there, baby? Is my father over there? Yeah. It's over here. Can you hand it to me? Thank you. Let's clean up as we go. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. Yeah, that table's definitely not big enough for all the stuff that I got. It's like... I got a little table, or plate. I, I'll link all the stuff too, if y'all are interested. That's our little pumpkin. Yeah, that's our little pumpkin. No, I did get some stuff for your room, though. But I'm going to put it up after Carson's birthday. we got to do Carson's birthday first. It's your birthday? Yeah, on, Sunday, on Monday. Where's the pumpkin? Four days. And it's going to be Christmas. And then it's going to be Halloween. Then it's going to be Thanksgiving. Then it's going to be your birthday. Then it's going to be Christmas. I think this is the rest of the dining stuff. Yeah. I got a, a set of, well it didn't come in a set, but I got a four piece. Can you help me? Yeah, I I'll put it on the table so you guys can see what it'll look like. Maybe. One of these days. Okay. Ooh. I didn't even go in there for these. But I got these because I was like, oh, mimosa bar. Look how cute that is. So cute. I was like, this would be perfect for mimosas. Like if I want to do like a little brunch or something. I just like to make stuff cute all the time. Like even if I'm not doing anything, like I could do it for like Sunday brunch and like make brunch and like cut it out or something. Hello. Remember you break that little glass? You know when that little glass fell down in a crate? Yeah, we you broke know, it. We broke it a lot. I feel like I'm missing so much stuff. But maybe this is all I have. Something in it. I feel like I got more small stuff. But maybe I didn't. This has got to be the rest of my plates and like oh get to this i got these little baby ghosts how cute are these oh wait and they turn on you can like put batteries in here can i turn yeah look oh look they glow i didn't even realize they 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 glowed up that's too cute but they're like a ceramic material i was like i know like that's the most thing. i don't know this is an egg carton Again, another random thing I didn't need, but it's like not plastic, it's like hard, it's like ceramic. Love this for me, I think this is gonna be so cute. Okay, I'm gonna do my fridge. I'm gonna do my fridge one day. I'm trying to decide if I wanna do my pan, I think I wanna do my pantry first because I kinda already started it, but I don't like the direction that I started going in, so I don't know if I'm gonna change it. And then for my fridge, I decided like, well, I'll, I'll tell you on the video, but I think I got two of the little ghosties 
I think this is the small one. Can I turn it on? Yeah, pull this thing right here. You gotta no, just pull this out. Can you pull it out? You gotta be bare. Hey, it's it's breakable like glass, so you gotta be careful. Hold it with two hands, okay? Okay. These are the matching plates. Plates. I really like the plates because they just have like this detail. I don't really think y'all can see that well on there, but it's so Mom, cool. how do they light up? Mom, when you turn them on, do they light up when we're asleep? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why? Because the skirt tree? Yeah. Let's go put this on the table so it doesn't spill. Um, I'm definitely going to get more fall decor. I just didn't really see a ton at Crate and Barrel. Like, I got, like, something. Like, basically, like, they had these pumpkins. They had some other colored pumpkins. No, I, I also ordered some stuff off of Pottery Barn. So, that's everything. I'm going to, like, rearrange it and kind of see where I want it to go and play around with it. But I'm going to clean up the kitchen. And, um, yeah. Just start preparing for the afternoon shift. I like to have, call it the morning shift when the kids are awake when they take a nap. Then you have the afternoon shift, and then they go to sleep, and then you have the night shift, so. And then it's, it's storming. It's lightning and thundering and pouring down rain. Oh my God, I love it. Yeah. My Pottery Barn package came. Ah. Everything came right on time today. So we can all be in the same video. I got pillows from Pottery Barn, and then Josie Moran sent me something else, which I don't know what it is. Okay. Look at these cute pillows, first of all. I'm so mad. Don't even ask me, because they're sold out. Okay, I saw this ad, a, like, not a long time ago, but, like, two weeks ago, and I was like, I don't know if I'm going to get them yet. I'm going to see when I get my other stuff, if I find anything at Crate and Girl. So I didn't order them, right? Went back to order them. All the pillows I wanted were sold out. Besides these freaking two. I got my brothers, how and I got... Is. Mom, I got my glasses I got on my watch. It's a ghost pillow. A ghost pillow? Yeah, it's a ghost pillow. Why? And then I think I ended up getting... This is a. This is either a bat. They have like cats on there, spiders. These are so cute. I was going to put them on the couch. What? What is so cute? These pillows. What? These pillows. Those clothes? Is it dumb? For the core, like. Yeah, so we can set the, the fall vibes in here. It's not for you to lay on. Hey. I haven't made the couch back together yet since I took the wash the stuff. Damn, they might be still sitting in the washroom. That's why I don't do laundry. I'm gonna go run another cycle. Where are you going? <laughs> so I can put the couch back together and then I can put the pillows on there. Let's see what they got. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is um this is this is PR. I don't ever be getting PR anymore. Like ever since I moved, like I don't know if my address didn't update or whatever. Well I did update my address, but I never get PR anymore. And I just got PR. Huh? What? Okay. Okay. What y'all want? Y'all want steak tonight? Okay, so this is from Josie Moran. This is their whipped argan oil SPF body butter. What? SPF body butter? That's not how you do it. Okay, well then do it yourself, man. Yep, I'm doing it. This is the Get Even Sun Mill Broad Spectrum SPF 33 Mineral Sunscreen. If this doesn't have a white cast, it'll be amazing. I have not found a sunscreen yet that doesn't have a white cast. Is it, um, besides Elta MD? Oh, let's see. It has a smell. It doesn't have a white cast. Oh my gosh. That's awesome. Look. And it's like shiny. It does have a scent to it, so I don't know. 
I'll have to then leave it on my hand and see how it feels because I don't want it to make my skin break out because it is a little bit scented. Oh my gosh, look how cute! Oh, I feel like one of the girls. Oh, they sent me a note too. What a note? So happy you're a part of the Spunky Moran family. Uh, uh, uh. It's a long note, I'm not gonna read it. What is this? Their whipped argan body butter? I want to try their body scrubs. Bath? I think they have a scrub. When you take a shot, when you take a bath, you put what it on. This? You is put their it vitamin on. C serum, dark spot eraser. I'm low key about to be out of my skin suitable, so I might try this out for a little bit. Oh yeah, it's the right color. If your vitamin C ain't that color, it's not right, man. I used to love the vitamin C by Mario Badescu, but then they changed the formula. But that shit cleared up all my dark marks when it was the diff other formula, but then when they changed it, it didn't work anymore. What's the matter? Oh, ooh. It's cute. I really want to buy this. the- Matt starts to creature because he has a creature. Because he has a creature thing. That's creature thing. Matt creature watch. I really want to buy Kim's skincare because of the packaging. But it's so expensive. And I don't know if it really works. But I think I might I might just buy it for the packaging one day. I cannot wait till some of my baby hairs come out because right now it's giving no baby hairs. But let me put y'all up somewhere. Anyways, okay. I wore my little my outfit online set that I had, y'all, because I didn't feel like putting on no other clothes. But I'm at my friend's house. I'm going to pick her up so we can go get some lunch. The kids are at the house with their dad. And I was just like, I need to get out. Okay, it's Friday. I was I had to drop off some stuff, like um, return some like equipment from our old apartment for the Wi-Fi because we had to get new Wi-Fi company. And um, I had to go freaking just like tie up some loose ends with the last apartment that we lived at. Hate them so much. Um, but anyways, yeah. So all that is done. Now I'm just going to get some lunch. My brother's football game is today. So we're supposed to be going to that this afternoon. Um, this afternoon, this evening. It's been storming like all morning. So I was doing a little bit of work and then I was like, I'm gonna just finish the rest later, either tonight or tomorrow in the morning. So let me tell y'all what I'm thinking. <sighs> okay, I already bought all these decorations for Carson's birthday. So I'm like, dang, if I do this, like I'm gonna have to return all the decorations because I wanted to like decorate his room and stuff. But that's when I thought we were gonna stay in town. And if we stay in town, then that's what I'm gonna do. But I'm really thinking about like either one, driving to round rock which is like three hours from us because it's like close to austin and going to like this resort that they have um or i'm gonna go um or fly to austin <laughs> fuck my starbucks cup away. it's lit out oh, it's lit out a black cup oh we've got a ship it is burning balls out here this feels disgusting outside. It's because it rained. It's so humid, I know. I know, I had a sweatshirt on and I changed. <sighs> but yeah, anyway, so we're either going to do that or or stay here. I don't know, but I'm leaning towards more towards doing that from like Sunday to Tuesday. Just a little quick trip. It's like has this resort with the indoor pool and like arcades and an outdoor pool and we could stay in a hotel and so yeah. Um... I don't know. We gonna see. I'm gonna look at the flights tonight and see see what it's looking like. <sighs> Where are we going? Don't say you don't know. I thought you said Sephora. I thought we was getting food. Oh. I'm hungry. <laughs> what you mean Sephora? You <laughs> said like five Bucks things Sephora. you were like. I said yeah. Like, I was thinking like Sephora after we ate if we had time. Oh, You're not okay. hungry? You wanna go to the Legacy Food Hall? They have like XYZ up in there. Sure. I hope that was not crowded though. Where are we gonna park? They got ballet. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I they used to got it right there. She was parking that motherfucking car. It's so good. 
Like I haven't had anything this good. You know, like food don't be hidden these days. Like when I say something's good, like okay, that shit was really like because most should be me. Thank like, you, people. Y'all hear that? <laughs> That was juice. What is the name of the place? You see, they are Uber Eats. I don't fucking know. They ain't gonna deliver to you. Here, <laughs> <Yeah>, baby. <laughs> Where am I have another little person? supposed to be headed to my brother's football game and Aaron was like that he was on the way I'm trying to find this light and I'm not ready and I'm sure he's about to pull up and we're supposed to be leaving but after I got home from eating you guys and also why did I go to Louis Vuitton and buy a bag we don't know okay anyways I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like in a second but I need some coffee I was gonna say we could stop by Starbucks but we're already running late so I'm like not gonna work I don't have a camera mount so, sit there, please. Sit there, please. Uh, let's like chug this down really fast. I'm legit about to fall asleep. Like, I don't want to go, but like my little brother, he's so like, didn't come to my football game. You don't love me. Type of, type of, type of, type of dude. So, my forehead is literally getting huge with these braids. I cannot. It's all noggin. Do y'all hear Carter and Carson upstairs? They literally nonstop. Nonstop. Okay. Let's go get ready. We gotta throw on a quick outfit. Do we know what we're gonna wear? No. Have I made dinner yet? No. I'm just having one of those days. I'm like burnt out. Kids are dead. They're hilarious. Mello's in here in my bed chilling because he, he he ain't been feeling it today either so i don't know okay let me oh i found him out perfect <sighs> hopefully this coffee keeps in fast i'm supposed to be saving why did i go in there i don't know i don't know but i wanted a brown bag i don't i don't have a brown bag like this you can wear it like this and it has a little strap I don't know what the name of the bag is child little strappies in there so I was thinking I put my brown my outfit online set oh, it's not even in here wow well I thought I really thought that's what I was gonna wear <laughs> oh, I can wear the black one and I'll just wear my black bag. My black bag. I 
actually I don't have the black bottoms. Oh, I don't want to wear this color. This is like, I don't have anything to match this color alone. You're not even really supposed to take a bag into the football game anyways, but I have to take like a small bag for Carmella. Just in case. I don't want to go. I'm tired. So, I'm tired. How am I going to do this in a couple years when it's my kids and they have games? I'm going to be exhausted, you guys. Oh my gosh. I have this green set, but I don't really want to wear that either. I just sent out all of our laundry to the laundry. Okay. Aaron is here, and I actually have no idea where any of my clothes are. I thought I had some clothes. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> That's what I need to be shopping for is clothes. But I'm like, I've, I've learned, what I've learned about myself is like, I'm a basics girl. Like when I try to buy other clothes, like cute clothes, no, it's just a no. Me, I just want a cute set and a basics. And I just need to order like multiple of what I like have. If that makes sense, because I really like the stuff that I have. Like, I, cause I literally, I just want to wear a, a plain set every day. A plain set, some cute sneakers, and a mini bag. That's my style. Like, I've accepted that. That's who I am. That's how I feel comfortable, confident when I go out. Is a set. Okay. And I'm thinking about putting this fat ass hoodie on. I don't know why. It's 90 degrees outside. I'm ready for winter time. Bro, I just want to wear a big t-shirt. And I don't know where any of my stuff. Oh, you know what? I don't think I ever finished putting my laundry away from the last time we got our laundry done. Hey, Mello. <laughs> Actually, this is not my clothes. Look at the crap. I'm just about to put a big t-shirt on. Where is Aaron's t-shirt? I'm just wear this and some black biker shorts. Does that sound like a plan? I think so. It's too hot to wear anything else. Yeah, okay. I don't know what this is. This must be a shirt. Sure. I don't know. I need some more graphic tees too to wear with like biker shorts. That's also my like thing. <laughs> Yeah. Anyways, y'all see how empty my closet is. I literally got rid of all of my stuff when I moved. Like, I literally took all my clothes to donation. Because one, my weight is just like all over the place from having mellow. And so like nothing fit me or it was too big. So it was like, uh, are these my other, my, these are from Matt Collection. Where are my black biker shorts? Where goes one? I can wear my leggings. I have some. These are leggings that I don't need to be wearing. Where are these? Don't know. What is this? What is this? I'm just gonna wear leggings. These are from the Matte Collection. I ordered these, if you guys know what that is. It's like a brand on Instagram, and look, they like already snagged the first time I put them on. But I'm not gonna get rid of them, because they were like $50, so. I just wear them when I wear big t-shirts. <sighs> Living in a house with all boys that never knock. I'm gonna wear a nursing bra. <laughs> They're so comfortable. Okay. I'm so mad. Like, what the freaking is going on? I know they should do that just break. Fire. Fire. That sucks. 
have to look at it later. Beep, 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 beep. I don't know what I'm gonna wear. It's like fall time now. Do we wear better peach in fall? Okay. I also need, look, my nail broke. So I'm about to take the rest of these off while I'm at the football game. I'm gonna take me some floss in my purse and then put some press-ons on tomorrow. But all right. This is what I'm wearing. <laughs> I really need to grow up. But I'm not. I need to take this sticker off my forehead. I'm in high school, literally. Okay. What's the matter, Mello? Hi. Hi. Hi, Punton. You ready, Go Go? Yeah. You are so big for a four month old baby. Like, you are huge. You're huge. You are huge.